And now, the conclusion. Hello, and welcome to TTT. Hello, Simon. Hello, Lewis. So, it's Saturday afternoon, 5 o'clock in the evening. Lovely, lovely sunny day. First day of summer. What have you been doing all day, Simon? Um, I've just kind of been satting around, mostly. I've been watching Come Dine yeah. With Me. Um, just a bit of it. Oh, goodness me. What? Don't you like Come Dine With Me? People won't know what that is, either. It's a TV show in which people host dinner parties, and they vote on each other's like hospitality and food and the winner gets one thousand pounds of English money wow mm. it's a good show I like it thing is I like though, the drama when it kicks off it's all sort of very artificial drama I mean they deliberately choose people who wouldn't necessarily get along with each other just to spark the drama and people are always horribly picky of each other would you like to be on on it I would love to be on it, yes. Because I know you've been cooking, like, pies and things for James, like, as, like a good house husband. I've <laughs> been cooking pies for James. Yeah. He comes home from work, and I'm like, I, I made you a pie, dear. Oh, God, did you hear that kid outside? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Is that, that's that's hell? not your kid. <laughs> it's you and James' this child. It's Simon Jr. <laughs> <laughs> He's running about. I've, I've had him hidden. Yeah. Get back in the fucking cup under the stairs, Simon Jr. Can we talk to him? Can we talk to Simon Mommy, Jr.? Mummy, no! <laughs> oh, poor Can we Simon talk to Jr. him? Where is he? Bring him up here. I'm not... What? No! I I'm want to talk gonna... with him. I want to talk with him. You can't. He's he's busy playing with the other children in the um, No, I just want you to do the child area. voice. Do the, to- do the, child, the, the child voice. Please. No, not that. That's the creepy children voice. Please. That's the creepy girl Hi, from... Hi, Simon Jr. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm a little bit worried because I do have my window wide open and anyone outside will be able to hear things that I say. Yeah. Um, do you... Um... I mean, the Brian Blessed thing <laughs> earlier. I mean, when we had <laughs> Brian Blessed and interviewed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, James could hear him downstairs. Right. Um, and he... I basically I came downstairs and he sort of looked at me and I was like, "Could you hear?" And he said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." I could hear Brian Blessed up there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So going back to come dine with me, like I mean, you you could cook a nice yeah. little meal, a little hosted meal with broccoli and stuff in it. I'm not really sure what I would do. What would you do? The thing is, on come dine with me, it tends to Microwave be that these meals. people like <laughs> these people like um cook things that they've never cooked before it's like oh I've never cooked this before but I thought I'd do it specially it's like well no don't do that do something you've done before that you're good at you know yeah but what if all they do is make um, like macaroni cheese and ham sandwiches what if you know they can't do anything else you can't serve that at a dinner party can you everyone has a bit of a speciality though you know like I'm I do a really good uh, roast chicken where I like put um put a lemon in it and then put it in like a bag like an oven bag with uh, mushrooms carrots all sorts of like vegetables and stuff Christ. that's my sort of cooking with Hannah except it's cooking with Lewis <laughs> do you not instead have any of, like recipes that you instead of Thai fish in a bag you've got a fucking chicken and a whole lemon <laughs> and a bag of mushrooms just thrown into this fucking Tesco carrier bag that you just pop in no, the oven. Stuff and, back. and then you do some, like, you know, mash with it or something. Something like that. Have you not got a trademark dish? Simon's special? I don't know, really. It's probably just curry or something. That's what, that's what I'm fairly good at making, I guess. But that's not really fair, because How do you make like, that? Well, the thing is, I cook some chicken, and then I cook some mushrooms and onions... And then I put it in a big pot, and then I add curry sauce that's on offer from Asda for a pound. Right, yeah. You know, I mean, that's not really. <laughs> you know. Do you have like a 
A cocktail. What what sort of cocktail would, would you make as like a Simon cocktail? Pims goes very well with curry. <laughs> I suppose so. My nan has like cucumber and uh, apple and stuff with uh, curry and banana. Cucumber, it's apple, a very old and banana curry. You know. Well, actually, in the curry. No, like in like a side dish. So you have like yogurt, cucumber, apple, banana, and you like add it into the and like sultanas. You know. Have you not? Is this what people used to do? It's like an English curry. No, this sounds a bit fucked up. What do you mean? It's nice, but kind of slightly weird. So instead of using meat, you just add fruit, a fruit curry. No, no, you have the whole curry, but the apple, banana, raisins and stuff are like a side, side, yogurt, it's like yogurt and mango chutney, that sort of stuff, you know, it's all like, like additions. Right, yeah, okay, I get you. Mongo chutney. Mongo chutney. Yogurt. With poppadoms. That's how I remember it. Pop, yeah. You have a big have you pile of poppadoms. Have you tried to make poppadoms? Um... Oddly enough, no. No, I haven't. No, they're, just they're bear in mind that things to make. The last three days, I've lived off of sandwiches, and a really, really bad microwave meal that I had last night. Why? Why? Why is that? James isn't here, and I can't be asked to cook. Oh, I'm all alone. He's left me. He's abandoned me. I'm home alone, like that kid in that movie. Dude, you should go out and get some nice curry or something. With Simon Junior, obviously. Simon Junior is hanging oh, around. God. I don't Good feed him minding. things like curry, or like any real food. I just I feed him coal, and wood shavings. What? Yeah. <coughs> Gives him everything that what he do needs. You mean? Gives him all the nutrients <laughs> that he needs. That's all a growing lad needs. Is he like a robot? No, he's he's, he's a human child. Um, <laughs> but he eats. However, he is. Coal. Is the fruit Where of do my you loins, source though. your coal from, by the way? Since it's not 1950 Wales. anymore. <laughs> Wales. Welsh coal, yeah. Only the finest. The real stuff. It's the good shit. You know, I is don't give them the craps kind. Is it? It is. That's the are only you thing I to do a, a Welsh accent. Are you trying to do a French yeah. accent or something? <laughs> Welsh. <laughs> is it? Uh, I don't even know what that is. What is that? Where on earth were we? I'd still want to talk to Simon Jr. Is he around? Oh, look. He's here now. <laughs> He's climbed the stairs. Have you let you've unlocked his cupboard? I've unlocked his cupboard. Um, Why are you mistreating your child so bad? I, I'm not mistreating I, him. What are you talking about? You can I talk to him? How can I'm I talk to him? My son. I'm like social services. I'm just checking okay. up on you, that's all. All right. Hello. Hello there. Hello. What's your... What? Who's... Who's that there? It's Lewis here. What's going on? What's, uh, I'm, I'm a friend of your father's. Where's mummy? Or is it your mother? Where's, where's mummy? Is your mother near you? Where's mummy? Um, that's enough, that's enough for now. That's enough for now. Where's, Uh, where's his mother? Are you uh, his mother or his father? We need to get this clear. I got confused. (laughs) (laughs) Do you need me to explain it again? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, God. Here we go. When a man and a woman... Oh, no, not that. I mean your relationship much. status. Oh. Basically, um, I am his father. Okay. And his mother. Oh. Um, I, when I was young, I had both sets of genitalia, and I impregnated myself, uh, and he is the result <laughs> of that act of self-love. So, hang on. <laughs> so hang on so he's basically a clone. <laughs> he's a clone of you. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, Pretty much, so yeah. So he's like, he's the me, mini, he's like mini me. Size. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm an old man, and I've fallen over. I can't get up, but it's all right, because I've got me iPod, and I'm listening to the Yog Pod. Oh, me back. Oh, God. <sighs> Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh that was very god. funny. So, have you done any exercise recently? Do you really any sports? <laughs> Do you really have to ask that? Um, I've been doing a bit of walking to the shops. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> How dodgy! How dodgy did that sound? That's uh, that's Simone Junior. <laughs> <laughs> Where's 
Where's my mummy? I can't really hear it very clearly. It's just children playing outside. Jesus oh. Christ. It's this creepy. This is what happens in summertime, man. I know, it's horrible. What the hell? It's not horrible. Ugh. It's heartwarming. I mean, what is this like? Is it like Easter holidays? Does it make you want to have it children? It makes me, um... You're like of an age to be a father, oh actually, aren't God, you? what? I think you are too, aren't you? No, you're more... You're getting past it. They're like having a lot of fun, man. What are they doing? Actually, there's something I've been meaning to say. Um, oh, yeah. I'm... I, r I run my own babysitting service. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> From home. <laughs> Finally, yeah, yeah. you've announced what your job is to the uh, to the yeah. world at large. I was ashamed, but I now realise there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's an honourable job. Absolutely, man. It's a noble job, and it's very important. Uh, what kind? What kind, What's the name of this uh, company? Uh, it's Simon's Babysitting Company. <laughs> right. It's not even service, it's company. Do you have a, a like yeah. a, a van I got a with white like van. sweets written on this it is... in like scrawled in black paint? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just pick up. See, the parents don't actually know that I'm babysitting. It's like a, a surprise. <laughs> yeah, it's a surprise. When they service. find out, they're like, they're so relieved to see that their children are okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of uh, oh, what kind Jesus. of things do you do with the children while they're in your we care? We play a bit of Hom. <laughs> <laughs> Heroes of New Earth. Do they are they any good? No, nah, they're all terrible at it. Um, but I'm I'm pretty bad at it too. Simone's getting excited because she's she's playing the Valkyrie. And that's her favourite character. Oh yeah. Okay. I like the way I like the way you don't do any kind of physical activity with them. <laughs> just sat, just, sat just, at the just computer video game. playing on with them. <laughs> <laughs> and then I send them outside. They've all got headsets play. on. They <laughs> Oh man. That's pretty funny. All these kids with their headsets on. Oh dear. bless them. So yeah, actually one of the things you sort of skipped over was um mm going back like quite a way we were talking about like speciality foods and drinks yeah you never answered my question I mean, what my speciality like, is um, Pims with Pims I guess it's p yeah so but I did is, give you the answer got anything... you just weren't paying attention Lewis well as per usual roll my eyes in yeah, my head so you should ask me like that question or some of the questions that we've had asked and stop Oh. Stop me prompting okay. you into all these directions. What now? You want me to ask now? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. We should really. Lewis. Well, look, we have to have it. Listen, listen, Lewis, listen, listen, you... listen, listen. We have to stop thought... it. What? God's I thought sake, you wanted listen. me to ask the question listen for a second. Never, if give you, me a second. If you we were have... making cocktail, what would you, what cocktail would you make? <laughs> there we go. So anyway, I was thinking that I'd probably make something with um. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'd probably use like tomato juice. Mm. And make like a uh... Right. No tomatoes, just the juice. Tomato the juice. Tomatoes. Yeah, tomato juice. Like um V eight, that vegetable drink. No, oh, that's pretty horrible that you stuff. Just make No, more like a sort oh. of a, a bloody Mary thing, but something a bit more very thick. If I'm gonna make like a cocktail, I'd usually like use some sort of fruit, so I'd use like mango juice or something that that makes it very Translucent. Right. Is that right? No. Opaque. Translucent you can see through. You want it thick and translucent. Tran yeah, opaque. Oh, right. Yeah. Opaque. So like um, like a, gl a gloopy kind okay. of really thick, thicky sort of... For, for like content. an aperiti aperitif. 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 Isn't that like a, a star? Aperitif. But, I mean, that's not really... It's not refreshing and it'll fill people up. People will be like full from your big... Fruity, juicy yeah, cocktail. I suppose yours is a bit more high class, isn't it? You could serve it in little, you know, fluted glasses and like have a, like a strawberry floating in it. Yeah, my my cocktail party, and dinner party is going to be so high class. Yeah, we're going to have champagne flutes, and we're going to drink tea out of it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, is that 
Is that going to be the starter? PG two. And then you're going to have the tea bag in the champagne flute, or are you going to, you know? Yeah. I'm going to leave the tea bag in the tea, and just in like, the hand champagne them flute. In the champagne flute, and I'm just going to hand it over to them, and say that it, I'll just give them some bullshit about. Um, I went to Inca, and I travelled around. I spoke to a wise man. What do you, mean you went to Inca. Inca. I went to Inca. It's a place. It's not a real place. It's a place, Lewis. It's, it's not a place. It's an ancient civilization that no longer exists. It's a place. Inca. It's a place. I've been there. I spent I spent my summer there. You've never even I went left. to Inca. This is a shop in the high street. Stop criticizing. <laughs> it's like Banana Republic. <laughs> So, so I went, I went a lot of day to Banana Republic. Fuck it out. Yeah, so I went to Banana Republic and there was this old man, this really old man. And he he was so old, his wrinkles had wrinkles. Mm-hmm. His skin was dark brown like leather. And he handed me this drink and he said to me Simon, Simon, you drink. You drink of the tea of the Inca people. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness me! What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, after I... <laughs> after I was done laughing, uh, I <laughs> I took the tea that he proffered me, and it was a champagne flute. It's like the finest crystal glass. Mm-hmm. And in it, there was tea with the tea bag left in. And um, I drank the tea. <laughs> Simon, you drink. <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> I had to think up an Inca. That was actor. amazing. <laughs> I don't even know where close. Inca is. Very close. It's not a real place. <laughs> it's not a real place, first of all. It's a shop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, you... oh, dear. What else did this ancient sage, what other wisdom did he impart upon you? He, he wasn't a wise man, he was just some old dude <laughs> whose house I was staying in. <laughs> so, he wasn't like a witch doctor or, you know, like a a sage or a prophet or anything. He was just but some did, old dude. Did he not have any, you know, wisdom? He did. He Mr. He said to me, Simon, Simon, when you go out back and use toilet, careful not fall in hole. Right. <laughs> Wise words. And that Wise was good words. advice, because I did almost fall in at one point. It's a fine way to drink tea, though. And people think, you know, when you, you're posh, you drink tea out of, like, a china cup. Hmm. But that's not right at all. That's, it's, a mis- it's a misconception. You actually drink it out of a champagne flute. Isn't there something dodgy about putting boiling hot liquid in, in a glass? Doesn't it? Can't it, like, shatter it or something? That's what I sort of... Mm. Um, I'm not quite sure why it might That's shatter. why the water has to be cold. Oh, so it's like iced tea? No, not iced tea. It's just like room temperature tea. Very strong because the tea bag's been left in it. So it's sort of stewed, tepid tea in a champagne flute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's... And it's got no sugar in it. It's got no milk in it. And it's got a tea bag floating in it. It's probably really high in um, antioxidants. That's probably why they live for so long, the Incans. Does the does the, does the tea bag have a, a string on it, or is it just a bare tea bag, sort of floating, bobbing on the top? Because you can imagine it would take up the top of the champagne flute. So when people try to drink it, they'd have the tea bag constantly, um, like mm. rubbing against their upper lip. Yeah, I mean that can happen. It's a, it's certainly a risk of drinking tea this way. Um. <laughs> So that's your first course, basically, and you'll come dine with me. <laughs> yeah, that's my first course. All of that conversation. That's what yeah. they get as yeah. they enter. Yeah. So what's 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 yeah. next? What's the next course? Um, you know, you've, you've obviously nuts. gone around. Your your son Simon Junior has probably gone around holding, you know, a, a, a glass tray. Yeah, he's, he's got dressed as a waiter. Playing flutes. Yeah. But the and um, he serves them to your guests. The outfit he's wearing, it's just made out of cardboard, though, because I, I'm too cheap to actually buy, like, a miniature-sized waiter outfit. It's covered, so coloured in with felt-tip pen. Yeah, 
That's exactly it. Yeah. So you so you got some 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 roasted peanuts for your hors d'oeuvre. Yeah. We got some cheesy. And then they all sits. come in. Cheesy what's nice. I've got the dips. The dips are Nutella, Marmite, and peanut butter. Mmm. So you've got some crudites. I think they're pronounced crudite, aren't they? They're like crudites. They're like sticks of celery and, and stuff, aren't they? Um, well, I, I don't have celery carrots. or or carrot and uh, um, pepper. I, I don't have pepper either. It's it's it's. What do you have? Potato. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Because, so because chips. raw potato isn't <laughs> chips. Raw potato isn't that nice. A plate of chips. I, I plate them. <laughs> <laughs> raw potato isn't nice, so I fried them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm liking this. So, so we went to your house. Did some very good <laughs> products. So we've had a nice high class cup of tea. Cup of tea some chips. Some some crudites. Some hors d'oeuvre. And then we're going to go on to the starter. So we're, we've all sat... Where are we oh, sitting? Oh, fucking hell. How many, how many fucking courses are there? Do you oh watch Combine with me? You know it's like this. Where's oh. the... Um, where's Where do we all sit around in your... Um... Um, we sit on the sofa bed in the living room with the red right. wine stain on it. <laughs> <laughs> I might put a throw Ooh. over it. So I guess you've got some... I don't actually have any throws... I could put a t-shirt over it. I could put my Superman hoodie over it. Is it big enough? No. Who am I who am I talking to? <laughs> Whoa, easy, <laughs> tiger. Sorry, friend. You know. Easily big enough. So there's about four of us there. Me, Hannah, uh Lalna obviously as well. And we've come round. We've had we've had this lovely appetizer. Mm. Now we're sitting yeah. on your on your sofa. You're all sitting very very close to each other because it's quite a small sofa. Right. So you're all squeezed in together, knees touching. Okay. You, sh- you look a little bit awkward. It's a bit uncomfortable being that close. It's okay. For these people that you've never met. Yeah. So the starter it's going to be soup. Okay. Because that's a traditional starter. Yeah. Um, how are you going to serve it? It's going to be some... In a bowl. <laughs> right. How are we going to... Uh, With some bread. How are we going to negotiate this bowl when we're in, on the sofa? I'm going to bring in the bowls and put them on your laps. Okay. And then give you a spoon. A dessert spoon. Because I confuse dessert spoons and soup spoons. So you'll have a dessert spoon and you'll drink the soup. Okay. And it'll be lovely. What kind of soup is it? Oxo. <laughs> what do you mean, oxo? You mean oxtail? Oxo, no, oxo, oxo. Oxo, soup. oxo are a brand they do, of. Um, they do little little cubes. Oxo are a brand of chicken stock cubes. <laughs> they, do, they do, yeah, it's chicken soup. You do these little cubes and you crumble them up and then you add hot water and you've got like chicken soup. It's amazing. That's chicken stock. That's not chicken soup. I have it like. Almost That's every day. Stock. For lunch. What do you mean? That's not chicken soup. It's soup. It tastes of chicken and it's wet. It's like it's broth. fucking chicken soup. What else could it be? It's like bare. It's yeah. Like it's add delicious. it to rice and stuff. If you want to give rice a bit of flavour, you don't. Oh, I know what I could. I could put some um, oh, put some me. pasta in the soup as well. Oh well, sure. Put Go pasta ahead. in the chicken oxo. What kind of what I kind of pasta? The little bow tie ones. I'll put a few of those right. in. Okay. And that's, I mean, that is classy as fuck. This has been, is. been brilliant. Now it's time for a bit of a mm. entertainment. Do you have any kind of entertainment laid on? I could do impressions for you. Would, I'll stand in front of you and I'll do my famous impressions. Would um, Go on then, just give us a little rendition of what you might do in your normal act. Oh God. Well, I would say I'd have a bit of banter with the audience, which would be... You know, you well, let's just try it out. Let's try it out. I'll be the audience. Woohoo! Okay. Hello. Oh, it's good to glad, see you. So glad. Why are you? Why are you saying that as the audience? Why would the audience say that? Oh, sorry. Okay. Woohoo! Yay! Idiot. Simon, yay! Okay, I'm, I'm glad you could all come here to my dinner party. Are you having a nice time? Yes, it's great. Yay! It's good to hear. It's good to hear. Um. I've got some special entertainment planned for today. I'm going to do an impression of anyone that you mention. Anyone at all. And I'm just, give, just give me some names. Just give me some names. Indiana Jones. Well, Indiana Jones, okay. Um, 
Indiana Jones. Right. Okay, I've just got to get into character. I ain't getting on no plane. Brilliant. That's, what uh, does Indiana Jones say? Does he have any catchphrases? Uh, Help me out Snakes, here. why did it have to be snakes? That's a classic one. Snake, why have to be snake? Okay. Um, Mario. Mamma Mia is a spicy meatball. Uh, Zoidberg from Futurama. Oi, 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 oi. Because he's, like, Jewish. He's a Jewish lobster man. Lister from Red Dwarf. You smackhead. Rimmer. <laughs> uh, Daniel Craig. The name is Bond, James Bond. The Juggernaut. I am the Juggernaut from X-Men. Chewbacca. Hello, I'm Chewbacca. It's pleasant to meet you. Pearson. Pearson? Yep. <laughs> um... Hello, I'm Pearson. I'm on a boat. <laughs> I don't know why he's on a boat. <laughs> Can we stop this, please? Can we stop this? No, we're gonna keep going till you say some funny ones. I'm a constipated old man! Okay, so all of your impressions are pretty much Mr. T. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. They're very good. I pity the fool! So who... Ha, who, uh, who? What's next in the the, the 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 main course? The main course. We still sitting in the the lounge, or are we going to move move room for the main course? We're going to stay in the lounge, but we're going to move over to the dining table, directly behind the sofa bed. Oh. We probably should have been on there uh, for the uh, for the soup, but I didn't really think. Yeah. The main course is curry. My famous curry. Oh, of course, your famous curry that you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Um, I cook chicken in the oven. I bake it, for some reason. I don't cut it up and fry it. That would only take, like, five minutes. But I actually bake it. Really? You cook it in the oven? That's pretty interesting. And then I tear it apart with my teeth. Doesn't it sort of and dry And I spit out, out the chicken if you bake into it. the curry mix that I've got. I sometimes put um, raspberry jam in there too because it just gives it just a little a little sweet oh. little kick it's a good idea good tip for anyone making a curry it's true it's true I'll put raspberry jam in there is that a real tip I don't know yep really you should do it's really nice okay I might try delicious. that delicious um mm. I sort of don't trust you though I've learned well, like when you're I wouldn't joke about curries Lewis. Mm. you know how serious I am serious about uh, I guess we you know we're we're nearly finished. Is there any is there any dessert? Yes. What would you, what would you do for dessert? Dessert is going to this be This is the best meal, best bit. This is the best bit. This is what the the whole evening has been building for. I thought so. I could tell. My souffle. Oh. Mm. Wow. The patented Simon souffle. Okay. Made by uh I've never cooked a souffle before. Simon Souffle um, company. But I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I've never done... I don't even know what goes in a souffle. I you think don't it's even like know what it is, egg, white, and flour or right. something. I don't know. <laughs> so, egg, white, and flour. So you... And you put it in a little bowl. Right. Um, and then you, you put the bowl in the oven, and it rises if it's done properly. And if it's not done properly, it doesn't rise. That's correct. And if well, you, there's a bit of an art to it, isn't there? Because you, you know, mix it up a, a, a large amount, but not too much, you know? Mm. It's, an, it's, an, it's an art It has to be bowl, light and fluffy. Right. Like a sheep's belly. Delicious. Mm. So I'm looking forward to that. That sounds amazing. It's going to be a good evening. It doesn't sound disgusting at all. I think what would um, what would we do? You know, what would the entertainment be? I mean, afterwards, would we would we have a game of poker or um, Star I... Wars Stratego? No, no, Monopoly. No, no, no. don't or be silly. Just watch some some telly. Watch Hollyoaks. You know. We play a bit of Hon. <laughs> of course we would. Uh. Of course we would. Everyone's brought their laptops, and we we create an, an ad hoc LAN. So we go into separate rooms for headsets yeah. on. You're in the toilet. What? And occasionally I'll come in. I won't make eye contact with you, and I'll just like stop pissing without saying it's through word. my legs. And you're yeah. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? That is fucked up. <laughs> that is fucked up. 
Jesus Christ. No one's oh. paying any attention because I'll be so concentrating on, like, you know, the towers are going down and stuff. Poning noobs. Oh dear. And maybe later on I'll get out a little, like, a paddling pool, an inflatable paddling pool, and I'll fill it with jelly. And I'll just stare at Hannah okay. and then like nod, nod my head towards <laughs> the the paddling pool. The paddling pool I won't for say the anything. Jelly. Yeah. I'll just imply that something is required. I would I would be subtle. I'll just like take my shirt off and make my nipples dance. Goodness me. Anyway, so I've had a lovely evening and I'm leaving in the taxi. And now what's going to happen is they're going to interview me. And say you know, and they just ask me questions, and I'll I'll answer like what I thought. Oh my I god, this is my best. This is my favourite bit of the program. I love this bit. Yeah, they're driving home in the taxi, so they say, "Oh well, I I thought it was. I mean, I didn't really like the the soup. The soup was a, was a bit sort of rancid. It tasted it tasted like Simon's socks. The curry was lovely though. He did so nice with the curry, and the, the little boy when he performed on the recorder." Was was the highlight of the evening really, for me. Um, so I'm going to give him four. Whoa, four. Yeah, man, four. You piece of shit. Well, the jelly, the jelly, the jelly paddling pool. Four. It wasn't really to my taste. You know, I, I'm a bit more high class. I liked the tea. The tea in the gl- the champagne flute was 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 a masterstroke. Uh, mm, the, that was good. The the five p naan bread was was very good, with the curry. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed the naan bread. Put in the toaster. Yeah. That's nice. That was. It's a nice touch. And uh, four. Yeah. That's really harsh, so, man. I mean, that is such a bad score. That's below average. That four. Really. I don't think anyone ever gives each other ten, though, do they? And nines are pretty damn rare. Yeah, happens now and again, but... Also, shouldn't our scoring system be out of fifteen? Hmm. It's the, the Yogg's cast way. Four out of fifteen is even worse. What's that? <laughs> Sounds like James Bond, but really bad. <laughs> That's the Come Dine With Me music. Good. Well, that's the end of that. We'll just end it now. So, um, let's talk about the, the executive producers and stuff. Hello. I am Her Royal Highness. Queen Elizabeth II. And this York Pot is by royal appointment. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello! One fancies a Jaffa cake. Mm. Anyway, so that's the end of this Highlights podcast. Highlights? I don't know. What are we calling it? What that You've, you've watched lights. the... The, the Bombay mix of the Yog Pod. That, yeah. I hope the you didn't delicious. watch it, you listened to it even. Uh, <laughs> Your ears watched it. <laughs> Your and, ears um, watched us and drank us in. And hopefully and, you didn't uh, spit too much of us out. Um, hopefully your your tummy isn't going to feel funny. So yeah, next, next time we're actually going to have a... Uh, a D and D podcast because we did a bit oh, of God, D and D. Oh yes, the D and D. And we've also we've also got another podcast coming out soon, which we haven't even started recording yet. So we'll talk a bit more about our day out when we met Warwick Davis and stuff. So that's to look forward to. It was such a nice day, such a lovely day. It was a lo- ah. it was a wonderful day. Who is the executive mm. producer uh, for this week's show? Oh, by shit. the way. Um, it's a very good question, Lewis. I'll just go and check. Um, our executive producer for this week is Magnus Tenman from Norway. Okay. Um, he donated a, a a substantial amount, a nice amount of money. We're, we're going we're, we're keeping saying. that private though. The amount. No, we are saying. Are we? Are we? Yeah. Oh, twenty-five quid. 
25 quid. Nice. Uh, he sounds like a thank strong you, Magnus. man, doesn't he? Magnus 10 man. The strength of 10 He sent a lovely man. email. I think he has the heart of 10 men. Magnus yeah, 10 man. That is a good name. Um, he said he wants to support... He wants to support our work. He hopes the donations of value to us. He finds our stuff funny. He likes our sense of humour. Since your reviews are pretty rubbish, I guess the humour is what makes me love it so much, he says. So that's a little bit of a... Uh, um, what's it called? A double-edged sword of a compliment? Okay. I don't know. I don't even know if that's a phrase. Marcus Fuck Ten knows. Man sounds like the kind of man who would wield Thank a double-edged Magnus. sword. Magnus. Magnus Ten Man! He sounds like a... I love that name! He sounds like a Viking hero. He's the best... Magnus Ogre. Ten Man! Executive producer. He has a, a YouTube channel, Cream, the numeral four UX. Okay. Cream for UX. Okay. Which no one's going to look at now, are they? No. <laughs> no. But he does. He does his own videos. All right. All right. A, that's a video of a Congo rush. All right. I get the idea. Hot. I love him. I think he's a lovely man. Because he donated us money. Thanks, Marcus. And he's going to get a special care package. Marcus, Magnus. Thank you, Magnus. Magnus. Shit. Thank you, Magnus Ten Man, and thank you for your lovely email. Thank Don't you, swear, Magnus. Lewis. That's a bit rude. I love you, Magnus. What? Thank you, Magnus. Um. He's from Horderland. Horderland. Good. Okay. Right. Horderland. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> this show and stuff. And God, brilliant. Thank you, Magnus. You made it possible. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 In memory of Lewis. What? She died. You didn't make it through to the end. The tank killed you. Oh, no. Left for dead. So, shit, I realised, by the way, that it's um, election night coming up, and we haven't actually talked about the UK election in any way, shape, or form. Um, so it might be good to just, you know, hear who you, you know, think you're going to vote for. Oh, God. Because uh, some yognauts obviously look to us really? for guidance. I don't know if uh, it's going to be out in time. Might be. It's not going to be out in time, is it? Maybe we could just glue this on the end okay. of the podcast. Um, Who do you think... Well, I mean, what do you think? Uh, it's a serious, uh, serious business I think now. everyone should vote Liberal Democrat. And fuck tactical voting. To be honest. Fuck it. It's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth you um, compromising your beliefs just to get someone in particular out of power. It's just not worth it. It's ridiculous. It angers me that people feel they have to do that. Labour's shit. Tories are shit. Lib Dem probably are going to be shit as well. But they're the lesser of three evils. The classic the classic party which... I think Yognos will be surprised to hear that you're not voting uh, Monster Raving Loony. Which is obviously they, something which we... They just assume that because I'm a, a, a Monster a, Raving uh, Loony, I'll be voting Monster Raving Loony. Is that how it works? Aren't you, like, actually a Member of Parliament for Monster Raving Looney? I am. Um, not under my real name, though. So I like... <laughs> I'm... I'm Dame Honeydew of, um... Yeah. Gnomerigan. Uh, That's but obviously, name. because you're a member of the Monster Raving Looney Party, you're not going to vote for your for the Looney Party. You're going to vote Lib Dem. Yeah, I can't vote for myself, Lewis. You can, it's, actually. It's immoral to do that. Like, David Cameron gets a vote. Yeah, but it's immoral he to can do say, that. I'd like really, to vote for you know, myself. It's, it's bad sportsmanship, Lewis. Is it? You know, you shouldn't vote for yourself. I suppose so. Yeah. Also, um, if Michelle Scortos is um, listening to the Yog Pod, uh -huh. um, I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's going to overtake me on Island Paradise. She's she's gonna have more XP. And she's gonna overtake me. That's why I hate Is her. Is she a Yognaut? I think so. Yeah, she's a member of the Yogpod group, which I was made an admin of recently. Yeah, you're just ruining the Facebook group. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if anyone could <laughs> pinpoint the exact time that I was made admin of that group. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to post the Monster Raving Looney Party um, manifesto on the, on the Facebook group so people can have a look. All right, that'll do. We just, I just thought I had to add in something to do with the election on the end of the uh, podcast. Yeah, because we often do political coverage, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> we, co- we cover the current affairs, the big news of the day. I mean, for fuck's sake, all we usually talk about is fucking Tina Barrett, who hasn't done anything in, like, ten years, and um, Warwick Davis, who also hadn't done anything in ten years, but is now... Thanks to being flushed down the loo, some kind of major fucking celebrity again. <laughs> it's like we're... I said before, it's not... It's like we're not cursed, we're the opposite. We're like booned. Booned. We have the boon of the Yogpod. We're booned. If we mention someone, they made famous. Well, apart from Tina Barrett, whose his career is still languishing in obscurity. <laughs> yeah, well, but one day, she's going to get Poor this girl. enormous record deal and just get catapulted into the limelight. Yeah. And it's gonna be us. It's gonna. I'm sure it's that's gonna, gonna happen. Gonna happen. Of us, man. I'm 